All right, I know this is unusual for me to be doing this, but I w- I feel that this rant is necessary. Um, it's about ten o'clock in the morning. I get on the internet. Usually, I you know glance through the Yahoo News, and today I found something as usual that pisses me off. But this I feel needs to be ranted about. Apparently, a woman in where was it Tucson, Arizona, Tucson, Arizona. Her daughter came home with an award that was colorful and stuff, but she thinks it's mean. Which, you know, to be fair, it is kind of mean to send, you know, a six, I think, no, it was an eight-year-old child home with an award that's that's called the Catastrophe Award, which is awarded for most excuses for not having homework. Now then, the mother claims that she called up the school and the principal blew her off, so she went to her local news channel and brought this to the attention of of the, you know, news channel. What I find completely ridiculous is the fact that this woman is basically saying that she is a terrible parent because she doesn't know that her daughter is not doing her homework. She claims that the, that the child is enrolled in an after-school homework assistance program. Now then, a lot of you may not know this, but I find parents today to be remarkably lazy and ineffective at taking care of their kids. Now, if you're a parent, obviously you're probably going to be a little bit offended by this, but I think that parents should take some form of degree of responsibility for their kids not doing their homework. I mean, she should make sure that her kid is doing her homework. I mean, if the kid's saying that she doesn't have homework, she's eight years old. All eight-year-olds have homework at some point in time. Like, if she asks her kid and her kid repeatedly says that they don't have any homework, she should go down to the school and ask the teacher if they have any homework. That's what my mom used to do. If I came home and said that I didn't have homework, she went right down to the school and asked if I had homework. And if I lied, she... Well, this was back when spanking was allowed. She would, you know, give me a spank. But, you know, parents have to get creative because apparently spanking doesn't work after a while. I mean, my my dad, which we, you know, no longer have contact with, he used to whoop me with a belt. That instilled fear for a while. My mom, on the other hand, came up with more ingenious punishments, which was, you know, the normal takeaway stuff, uh, standing in a corner for several hours without sitting, which is, you know, kids don't want to stand in one spot for several hours. Um, when we used to curse, she used to give us Altoids, which... We had never had mints that powerful, so they were spicy to us. And then we got addicted to them. So, (laughs) but going going back on topic here, after going off on this tangent, is is the teacher at blame here? Yeah, you didn't have to do that. You could have called the parent and said that the kid was coming, wasn't doing their homework. But the parent should have already known the child wasn't doing their homework if she was being a better parent. I think there's no excuse for her to go on TV and and complain about the school when, you know, everybody has a form of responsibility when taking care of a parent. There's an old saying, it takes a village to raise a child. I don't think the community's doing that nowadays, mostly because the community I live in kind of sucks. But what degree should a parent take responsibility for things? You know, we shouldn't have... The government telling us what kids can and can't watch. It should be up to the parents. The parents should have a level of common sense. And it should go with that level of common sense into everything that goes around with their kid. Homework. uh, Bathing frequently. Because there's a lot of kids out there that just stink. And if you're that... There's always one class that has the smelly kid. And if you were like, my class didn't have a smelly kid. I'm sorry to say, you were probably the smelly kid. But all joking aside, this woman is... If you ever get a chance to find this article about this about this woman, she's dressed like she's ready to go to a damn nightclub. Like, she looks like one of those parents that are just terrible at parenting. Like, I've met some parents that are, like, really good. Like, like they, like even if they've had sex as teenagers and they've had kids, at least they're with their kids. They're trying to teach them something from time to time. I mean, I don't... I don't think kids should be plopped in front of, like, a TV all day, like some parents tend to do, but they should at least get, like, maybe an hour or two of certain shows, and not just 
Nick Jr. Like, the hub and stuff. The The hub has some pretty good shows. My Little Pony, I'm, I used to be against it. It's actually got fairly good writing for children. I think children should watch it. I mean, once they grow up and become cynical about the world, they're going to realize friendship isn't like that. But going off topic yet again, children need a parent that will take responsibility and has the ability to spend time with their child and teach them things that the parent has learned as well as being able to have some form, provide some form of educational television for certain amounts of time, but also television that will excite their imaginations. There's not enough people that are imaginative anymore. I go on, I go on DeviantArt, there's quite a bit of people that are imaginative. But for every imaginative person, there's like 20 billion people who are unimaginative. And they just do whatever. And I think Foster's Homes for Imaginary Friends, also a Lauren Faust show, kind of poked fun at that at the beginning because they had they were talking about imaginary friends and one of them was Mojo Jojo, which is also from a Lauren Faust helped show, which was the Powerpuff Girls. And one of the characters said that some children are unimaginative. Now, parents, a lot of parents, even when they had jobs... They would come home and spend time with their kids. My mom didn't have a job. So what did she do? She spent all her time making sure that we got that we went outside and had exercise, that we weren't watching TV shows that would rot our brain, but also TV shows that were kind of imaginative. Well, she didn't do that very much, but <laughs> she made sure that what we were watching wasn't going to make us into like supposedly bad people like the 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 FCC's claiming. That, that, this is the question I'm going to leave with you. At what point do parents take responsibility for their children and what their children are doing and not doing? That, that's, that's all I've got to say about that. That's what I'm leaving you with. Feel free to leave comments. Subscribe naturally to the head. Uh, check out our other stuff. Um... It is finals week, so more than likely after this week, we will be posting more of uh, Saints Row, of our Saints Row the Third playthrough, and probably some other playthroughs when I get the time to draw the title cards.